literally didn't see it because the trash can I was carrying was obstructing my view and it took me a second to see it. Laura, help me! Okay, Michael! Ah! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dead people. Uh... There's something over there. Oh, this is heavy. Oh, Lord, he coming. Oh, there's a turret here. Okay, it's, I'm sure everything is safe. Trauma center card. Okay, there was two of those. I thought one was a spooky boy. Uh, volunteer attitude. Mr. Goodwin, I'm gonna need more support. The volunteers are agitated more than usual. This morning, Eleven threatened to bash my head in if I didn't let him out to stretch his legs. When you get up here, the key code is 3118, not the old number on file. I'm pretty sure they've been watching me punch that in, so I changed it. Do I need to write that down, or will the game remember that? <sighs> I'm writing down 3118, because I don't know if I'm gonna have to remember that. Nope. Uh, Gustav, okay, thank you. Uh, Dr. Igwe, I re re relayed your previous request and we'll see what we could do, but there are no guarantees. The schedule for the visit is tight and may not allow for face-to-face. -face. I'll let you know when I have more details. Sincerely, Bianca. The code to your office is 0451. Okay, I wrote that down too. Uh, to follow up on the previous request, I was wondering if there had been any updates to Gustav Leitner's visit. Is it still taking place, and if so, would it be possible to get a copy of his itinerary? I would love a chance to meet him before the neuromapping procedure, if possible. Yeah, Igwe showed up, quiet and polite. He shook Leitner's hand like he was afraid of breaking him, asked him to sign an album he'd brought. Leitner seemed flattered, so that was a plus. We tried to make him comfortable. His condition hasn't stopped him from craving a cigarette. Fingers were twitching. It's too bad. Such a talent. No wonder he wanted to get scanned. Huh. Pop quiz mug, what else is that code from? 3118 or 0451? Uh, I don't know. We read that earlier. We read that earlier. Please move the raining boxes to my new office and Neuromod Div as soon as feasible. Bellamy. Uh, Sylvain, I'm trusting you with my brain. You do good work, so hopefully that continues. Sideways, smiley, winky face. Listen, if the tests don't go well, if something happens, let Alex know that I wasn't, it, it wasn't his fault I signed up for this. Also, if the tests drag on, consider moving your office down to Sim. Less hassle, and you can always move back after we celebrate our success. Signed, M. Scanning target, no alien material detected. Ah, yeah, I'm a good boy. Oh, uh, yeah, you're fine. Banana! Whoa! Okay, it finally worked. Deploying. Error log submitted. Morgan, you. Oh, it tells me over to the right what the code is. Oh, I have to use the F key for this, not the left click. This is my pet. Welcome back. This has been your home for the last three years. The video should be on your workstation. Eradicator version 0.7.6 online. Mm. I'm keeping this. What what do we name it? Is this Billy? B <laughs> that this Billy the kid. 
I'm keeping him. I am now a pet class. So. Good morning, Morgan. I got the plan you requested. It's in your safe. Sign Jason. Hello, Morgan. This LGV file should clear things up. Make sure you're alone when you hit play. Apple. Um, watch me, Morgan. Dude, this is a virus. Chat, if you ever get a file that says watch me in your last name and it says make sure you're alone and hit play, freaking delete that mail. Let your, uh, let your, you know, your local tech do who is your ISP, whoever, that you're getting some virusy stuff. And uh, I re would recommend Malware Bytes. Download that. You can get that for free, and you move to a paid product after that. What? Oh, I got a big TV over here. An office with a view. Bro, how many gigabytes is this video? Hello, Morgan. Tough day, right? If I'm talking to myself, it must be. Now, your memory's shot full of holes. I know. I'm sorry, but it's permanent. So the first thing you need to know is you can trust January. It's an operator, a sort of backup of you and me. It knows what you've forgotten. We've been testing a new kind of neuromod based on the Typhon organisms, mapping their neural patterns onto ours. Problem is, when you uninstall a neuromod, it resets your memory back to the moment you first put it in. That's why you forget. There's supposed to be a process to bring you back up to speed between test runs. But someone could just skip that part, turn a single day into your entire life. Well, that's exactly what Alex did. The question is, why? You're not gonna like what I have to say next. <laughs> With the wrench. Uh, yeah, I don't like that the connection was lost. I thought I found every one of those damn videos. Sorry, but I can't let you listen to that. Not until I've had a chance to explain everything in person. For now, just... Damn it. I have to go. Just sit tight. Please. Not my lovely brother. Or anything like that. Just... You made it, Eon. I still don't know what happened. I've been... Sorry, Morgan. Alex cut us off from the Looking Glass servers. Time to improvise. I suggest you search Dr. Calvino's workshop in the hardware labs. He invented the Looking Glass technology. You might find a way to restore the server connections there. I'm looking for another way to help you in the meantime. Good luck. The Looking Glass? Is that just the server where they have the, their MP3s? Uh, I still don't know what happened. I put it behind me, but there's no reason we can't be civil. You passed me in the hall today and you looked through me. If you're angry at something I did, tell me and we could talk about it. Pretending you don't even know who I am isn't going to help. We still have to work together. Yeah, I don't know who you are because they reset my memory. Morgan, as requested, your terminal logs are set to be automatically forwarded to your suite and crew members and the supplies from Hardware Sent Up. Let me know if they get to you all right, and if not, I'll get it resolved. Like last week, I'll make sure you aren't disturbed in the interim. Let me know if there's anything else I could do. I'll hold down the fort outside your office. Okay. Too far, too fast. In Kennedy's second term, the space race reached new heights and without his support may have sputtered completely. A succession of moon la launches heralded the coming of an accelerated energetic space program, both within the halls of government and in the public eye. Unusual at the time, especially in contrast to Kennedy's first term, rather than being simply a race between two powers, the Soviets and the United States seem to be reaching out to space together. Wait, what? There's a transfer junk button. Oh my gosh. In the spirit of spiting Clydoff. Oh yes. Um Did it happen automatically?
converts unwanted items to synthetic mineral, organic, and exotic material, which can be used by fabricators to construct new items. Neat. Um, auto sort. Got rid of all the bubbles. Place items in bin. Transfer junk. Recycle! Blech. Got it. Med kit. Operator dispenser? Fabricator. I could make a wrench. Why would I want to make another wrench? Okay. May I alright. Uh what else? What else we got? What else we got? Anything else in here? Is that the family? Is that me in the back? And that's uh bro. Oh, you found a weapon upgrade kit. This can be used to upgrade weapons. Uh, to use a weapon kit, select the weapon you wish to upgrade in your inventory, press R. Then choose upgrade, select from any available upgrade. Some upgrades will require skills. Okay. I can't upgrade the wrench? What kind of game doesn't let you upgrade the wrench? Oh my god. Oh, there's more there's more bubbles. Recycle. Uh, transfer to junk. Sort. And boop. The gloom cannon. Yeah. I can. I just don't want to upgrade the wrench. Um, I'm having some trouble here. I hit G to upgrade. Okay, I had to use the keyboard for that. Um, increase movement speed while firing. Reduces glue ammo required to incapacitate. Uh, increase range. Increase reload speed. Let's do incapacitation rate, I guess. Glue efficiency increased. All right. Let's pick up Billy and head out, I guess. Da, 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 da. No big deal, just me and Billy. Billy, go! No, Billy! What? Deploy! Billy, are you serious right now? Oh my gosh. Okay. B Billy's a little slow, chat. You'll have to forgive him. Oh my gosh. Combat basics. Wait, what? Take advantage of your environment and tools in combat. You do not have to fight every enemy head on. Use alternate routes to see sneak through tough enemies or get the drop on them. If you intend to fight, disabling enemies first with tools like the glue cannon can increase your odds of surviving. Auto version 0 .7 .6. Oh, Doc, oh boy, you are Billy, yes you are. Target I'll see if there's more. Deploying. Proximity sensor reset. Where did he? Alien 3 detected. Ooh! We got a Glock. Uh, press mouse one to fire a pistol and R to reload. Can oh, I can't right click to aim down the sights or anything. All right, I want to change the hotkeys. Hold on. Um. Okay, good. That feels a little more natural. Bro, 
this table, can you imagine if something, there's like paper in the table and you're in a fancy meeting, so it's like, can you pass me that? And you're like, leaning like way out. It's, it's ridiculous. King Arthur had a smaller table than that. This is NG Class Fantasy. Oh yeah, we're gonna have the slowest, safest playthrough you've ever seen. Where's the next thing? Over there. No, no, don't yeet Billy. I'm sorry, Billy. Wrong button. I hit the yeet Billy button. Spare parts. I don't know what that is. Spare parts. Um, soldering iron? Uh, broken recycler. Clydoff has been here. Dead mimic. Can I break this stuff? Yeah, I can break that stuff. All right. Well, that is very tiring. Shadow, thank you. Muckle Douglas about that'll be Reginald Esquad the fourth as the Tazi Festivals the third. Welcomes you, Shadow, to the lab. Hope you enjoy your stay. Entertainment is on the way. Crank up the speakers, don't touch the beakers. You've always every week. Please take a seat, but you'll only need the edge. Mm. Welcome. Wait. <gasps> I can't bring Billy! Oh, not recommended on Steam. Zero out of ten. No, terrible, terrible game. Oh my god. The same button to click the door as the button to drop Billy. On every level, we now begin our quest for Billy. Okay. Oh, geez, it blows up. God dang it. Uh, you're my only hope. I sent Larson to the demo theater to see if he can sneak a bottle of old Sardar to join, care to join us. Demo delay. Just a heads up that the Artax propulsion system demo will have to be delayed. We're still working on a slight calibration issue in the machine shop, but it's nothing to worry about. Sign Franklin. Got a spare wrench. I wonder if the, do the wrenches don't have like a durability, do they? Wait, I've got an unused code. 3118. Oh, shoot. Nope, that's not it. That's not this door. Lemon peel, banana peel, some sodies. You're doing survival mode, but you aren't doing that? Hmm. Yeah, I'm a scrub. We're not we're not doing added difficulty as a scrub. What 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 what? Oh, shoot! Save me a seat wherever you're going. I'll be there soon. Uh, and Johnson's term came to an end, paving the way for President Reagan. Even then, the space race was showing signs of faltering, the eager push from previous decades being dulled by the lack of advancement that space had seemed to promise. The Soviet Union had already suffered economic collapse through similar space focus. Many in Washington and the Pentagon found further spending on the space program unpopular, giving rise to a wave of politicians, many of whom had also successfully prevented U.S. involvement in Vietnam, that focused on solving problems at home. Uh, 
But the cost of these Mars installations and their continued maintenance is staggering, and their Spartan shells are a far cry from the idyllic colonies pictured by turn-of-the-century uh, inspirational space tourism posters. All that might be about to change. In a rare interview, uh, Transtar President Alex Yu, my brother's the president? Uh, reveals his vision of a Mars where families in short sleeves can picnic in a grassy field and pick out the point of light that is Earth after the sun sets. Enabling this vision requires terraforming Mars, the most challenging engineering problem the human race has ever faced. You presents an innocuous gray moss to me, an extremophile organism designed specifically for that purpose. Dubbed Takakia catherin, the simple-looking plant is actually a fantastically efficient organi organic machine that, given enough centuries, will convert the Martian atmosphere into something that very much resembles our own. Wasn't this the first episode of... Um, terraformers that anime where they left the moss and the cockroaches on mars and came back and it was not what they thought was going to happen uh the space elevator early united states dominance of the first inter operational space elevator the white stork tower has allowed them to control almost all orbital activities and commerce now the rest of the world is playing catch up the world union of space industry woozy has calculated that using the Stork facility to aid in construction of a second space elevator would result in construction costs that are one quarter of the original. Understandably, U.S. officials have balked at the idea of helping competitors build a cheaper platform that would give them a competitive advantage. Stork representatives maintain that the sizable investment risks for the original platform justify the protection of this economic space. In the meantime, WUSI has aggressively moved to purchase ideal sites for future space elevators, essentially space-age squatting. I could see that lady that got yoked. Asteroid fragment. Your suit is damaged. The better condition your suit is in, the more damage it will absorb from enemy attacks and hazards. Use a suit repair kit to repair your suit. <laughs> ah! Stupid explosion when they die. Ah. Okay. GP user of all- <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is what happens to all of the NVIDIA cards after the, uh, the crypto miners, uh, win, chat. This is what happens. They- they revolt. Alright, got another Neuromod thing. Wait, I just moused over turret. Where's the turret? What? Where's Billy? Two utilities. Area map. Download area map. Oh boy. Uh, security controls. Unlock security locker. Cool. 26 crew. Um, oh, hey Mary. Mary's fine. Dude, there's so many people. So, like, am I getting quests when I when I click on them? There's so many people. Alright, I'm clicking all the nominal ones because it looks like it might be giving me side quests or something. Why does that one say dot dot dot? Oh, this crew is doing great. They're only half dead. 
Are there shiny crew members? <laughs> yeah, that lady floating into the sun is pretty shiny right now. I kind of hope I'm wrong about this, because this is really tedious. Oh, I just- one of them checked off immediately. I guess I already found one of them. Uh, I just got some kind of pistol ammo fabrication plan, I think. Silenced pistol. Is that Billy? Billy! Who's that good boy? Alright. We are our, our proper class fantasy has been restored, chat. Okay. Okay. I I went into this game. It is past midnight, friends. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna tap that quick save button again. I went into this game not really knowing what to expect, but ready to just kind of suffer through it. I'm very interested. I you know, I, I thought it was gonna be like a spooky game, or it was gonna be just a Doom shooter. Both of which I kind of play for you guys, not really for me. The story's got me hooked. Uh, the story has got me hooked. I, I'm looking forward to continuing this tomorrow. And uh, I'm looking forward to yeeting Billy at people and hiding as much as, all, as much as I possibly can. 